Hello and thanks for joining me. I can't believe it's taken me so long to get back into the mountains. It's an absolutely glorious summer's afternoon. It's the longest day of the year. It's about six o'clock and I'm heading up onto that ridge to spend the night. I've been walking for about an hour and I haven't got far to go now, but I thought I'd just let you know where it is I'm heading. The ridge line is called the Nantla Ridge. It's quite well known uh, as a walk in the Avionith range of mountains, which sits alongside the Snowdon range to the southwest. I'm down the southern end and I'm heading for the highest point of the Nantla Ridge, and that's called Craig Cumsillan. Uh, it sits above the quarry, and there's a couple of lakes down in the valley behind me called Llinai Cumsillin. The lakes themselves are quite a nice wild camping spot if you don't want to climb up to the ridge, but of course I'm hoping to get uh, some good views for photography, so it's not just about the wild camp, I'm hoping to get some decent images as well. Anyway, not far to go. The ridge isn't really very high. It's not like the main 3,000 peaks. It's only 734 meters. That's just over 2,400 feet. But what I'm really looking forward to is that tomorrow morning, the sun should come up almost immediately behind Snowdon with the whole of the Nantla Ridge leading down to it. If that comes off, it'll be fabulous. If it doesn't, do you know what? It'll probably still be fabulous anyway. So it wasn't too bad a walk up here, just a couple of hours, and I've got a good hour and a half to go till sunset, so plenty of time to get organized. Now, as with most of these Snowdonia ridges, um, the summits do tend to often be boulder fields, which means I'm gonna have to head down again as I did at El Edivaur, uh, to find a flat piece of grass to pitch camp on, but I shouldn't have to go too far down on this particular ridge. And one of the great things about this particular location is in some respects it's slightly better than being right in the heart of Snowdonia, say for example on the Glidders. The reason for that is that you've got amazing lines of sight here, whereas when you're right in the 3000s you don't have such wide-ranging views because the other peaks kind of get in the way. So from here I can see as far down the Cardiganshire coast as the Priscelli Hills in Pembrokeshire. Obviously I've got superb views down across Moyle Hebog and the Rhinogith down to Cader Idris and then for the morning in particular that I'm looking forward to, fingers crossed, is right along the ridge itself straight across to Snowdon. I'm going to get myself set up, get something to eat and then let's see what we can do with some photography. So this is home for the night. One of the advantages of being a short ass is that I don't need much of a tarp covering. And by wrapping it around as a lean-to, I get a ground sheet as well. And if I swing you around, that's the view from the veranda. Not too shabby. I wouldn't normally actually have this direction open to the elements, but there's no wind at all at the moment and not supposed to be any overnight. So with a bit of luck, I'll get away with it. 
I've had nothing at all projected over onto the ridge or Snowden, which I'd been hoping for. What I have got as a sort of consolation prize is some really nice colour and we've still got a quarter of an hour or so to go before sunset but there's a really thick band of cloud appeared on the horizon which is a pity because the colours look quite good where it's peeking through. What I've done with this particular shot with no light whatsoever on the foreground and not using it at all so I'm going for a really long shot that picks out all the ridges all the way down uh, Anglesey right down to the far end and Hollyhead Mountain and South Stack Lighthouse. I'm shooting at 61 millimeters. I really want all of the outcrops of rock very specifically to be pretty much silhouettes. Um, there's no detail to be seen anyway. So I'm going to want to try and put some contrast into those, make them as dark as I can. There's a little bit of color reflecting in the sea. What I've also got, there's a big bay down by Carnarvon, uh, just in, inland from a beach called Dinas Dintley. Um, and the tide is out at the moment. It's also out in the Menai Strait. There's all these patterns in the sandbars with the water sitting in between them. So I'm able to pick that up as sort of a foreground at the bottom of my image. I did set myself up to shoot some rocks here, but there's no light on them whatsoever, so I've abandoned that idea. I am quite liking the colours in the sky. There's some lovely uh, high cloud that's picking up a bit of colour as well. Um, so this is really just a sunset shot, which I could just easily have got from Anglesey. Um, I'm still glad I climbed up here because I'm sure there'll be something to do in the morning. Uh, but for now, the best I'm going to get is, is this particular sunset. What I can also see, though, quite clearly, um, are the mountains in County Wicklow in Ireland. Um, and I can also see the Isle of Man quite clearly. Um, won't make any difference in the photograph, but um, it has cleared up quite considerably because earlier on just the summit of Hollyhead Mountain was sticking out of the haze and I thought that might make a picture but I didn't get myself organised quick enough. Anyway, I've had much worse evenings so not to worry. Well, good morning. Slept really well, thanks for asking. I've been up for about an hour or so because I wanted to have plenty of time to scope out some compositions. And I'm so glad I did because the sunrise is absolutely spectacular. It's not actually up yet, there's about 20 minutes to go, but there's some fabulous high clouds came drifting in about 20 minutes ago and it's absolutely lit up, superb, all sorts of colours, brilliant. I'm really glad because last night's sunset wasn't all that good um, and this is certainly making up for it. You just can't beat being up a mountain when the sun comes up. Um, I've got a whole load of compositions in mind. My main one that I'm working on at the moment for sunrise itself has me shooting down the Nantla Ridge across to Elidirvaur and Agan because I know the sun is going to rise immediately between those two peaks right on the far ridge in, in my composition. Now I don't know exactly what the final composition is going to be and the reason for that is that um, I hadn't expected to be shooting so much of the sky. I had more foreground and mountains in, in my mind's eye before it all went off. So what I decided to do is to shoot in the high resolution 80 megapixel mode uh, and then I can crop in in post. I'm shooting as wide as I can go at 12 millimeters, f7.1, shutter speed completely irrelevant. And what that's going to do is give me plenty to work with and I can crop in and decide what my composition is going to be. I've, I'm just simply taking loads and loads of shots because it's changing all the time. So I'll get back to you in a little while. I've got a few more compositions in mind for golden hour, but for now I need to make the most of this sunrise.
Well, the sun's been up now for about half an hour and it's warming my bones already, which is very welcome because it was getting pretty cold back there. I've got plenty of images of the sunrise. I can't really do anything else now with the Nantla Ridge because I'd be shooting straight into the sun, but I have got some other compositions which are now making use of the golden hour side light. One of those compositions is this one I'm working on at the moment. I spotted it early this morning when I was doing my recce about an hour before sunrise. And what caught my eye about this, there's a couple of really nice, sharp, jagged rocks. And by getting down low, I've got them breaking the horizon. And I, I can line them up so they're sitting alongside the three peaks of Etliwedd, Moel Shabod and Araran. And that just gives me a really nice grouped composition with foreground leading through to background that emulates the shapes. I'll probably crop it into relatively letterbox, 16 by 9, something like that. Not entirely sure yet. Taking a few images of this, but I knew that the side light would work pretty well as long as I didn't have too much cloud, and I've got lucky with that. So the edges of the rocks are catching the light. I've got a little bit of light on the foliage as well. I'm really liking this composition. Oh, I'm getting some absolutely incredible light. The sun has gone really hazy. Um, clouds just built up from nowhere. But what it's doing is it's throwing some fabulous light right through the whole of Snowdonia. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, this, this really is something else. What I've done is I'm pointed down the Nantla Ridge, which I thought I wouldn't be able to shoot. I mentioned to you earlier that I thought that that was it for this particular composition because I was shooting straight into the sun. But because it's now being masked by this cloud, but still throwing the light down the valley, the layers are absolutely incredible. I mean, there must be half a dozen different layers of ridges running through the image. Absolutely superb. A really easy exposure, of course, because all I do, set it to f5.6, um, focus a third of the way in and take lots of images. But I can't believe this light. Well, I've absolutely filled my boots with images this morning. Dozens of compositions. I don't know what will work and what won't work, but what I do know is that there's going to be some that I'm really happy with. If I can't get a decent image out of the light and the colour and, and the atmosphere of the place that I've had this morning, then I've got no right to call myself a landscape photographer and certainly no right to trouble you with these YouTube videos. What I would say is that it demonstrates how much better it is to spend the night up here on the high ridge rather than yomping up in the dark because by being up here an hour before sunrise you get your head in the game and it just makes it so much more easy and enjoyable to really make the most of a decent sunrise. Of course, if we hadn't had a decent sunrise, I've still had a night out, so no problem there. But if you haven't camped on one of these high ridges before as a landscape photographer, really, trust me, give it a go. You'll enjoy it. I'm sure you will. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave it there for this one. Much as I'd like to hang around and take many more images, I've got stuff to do. So thank you ever so much for coming along with me. I really hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And if you haven't done it yet, why not subscribe now? Join me next time. Cheers. Cheers.